What's up, man? I heard you finally got a Peloton. I did. I'm actually on it right now. Can feel it working already. Really? You're not even out of breath or anything, but I mean, that's awesome. Uh, which one did you go with? Did you go with the bike? Or did you go with the um, the Bike Plus? I went with the Bike Plus and I got this thing called the Self Care Package. The Self Care Package? You know how the Bike Plus automatically adjusts the resistance for you? Yeah. Well, for an additional $5,000, you can upgrade to the Self Care Package and the bike pedals for you. Pedals for you? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm still getting used to it, but I've gotten first in every class so far and uh... Christine, I got a PR. Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're gonna to be comparing the Peloton Bike to the Peloton Bike Plus. And I'm gonna start this video the same way I've started all my Peloton videos, and that's just being upfront with you. I'm not a triathlete, I'm not an Ironman, I'm not a cyclist, I don't even own a bike. I am someone who is into fitness and I enjoy the Peloton bike experience. So I'm gonna compare both bikes and give you my take on do I think upgrading is worth it? We're also gonna look at the pros and the cons of the bike plus versus the regular bike. Let me recap some of the pros for the Peloton and this is true for both bikes. They're convenient, they're quiet, which is great if you've got sleeping babies or other people when you're exercising. And when you get on them, they are incredibly motivating. So that is what I like about the Peloton. Those are things I like about the Peloton. And I am a big fan, but this is not a sponsored video. I purchased these bikes with my own money and I'm giving you my honest opinion. Now, let's get into the pros and cons of upgrading. We're gonna start with the pros and by far the biggest pro to me is the digital resistance that you now have on the Bike Plus. And what that allows you to do is use what they call an auto follow feature. Let me give you an example here. So if the instructor called out a resistance of 40 to 50, and you set it to 45 and had auto follow enabled, that means that you would stay in that mid range no matter where the instructor went. So for example, if the instructor said, okay, 25 to 35, then the bike would go to 30 and you can adjust it and it's very convenient. I'm a huge fan, especially for someone who like I watch TV shows or listen to podcasts while I'm on the Peloton. I don't really listen to instructors that much. And that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. I know that's gonna sound incredibly lazy to so many people, but until you've done it, don't knock it. So it's, it's less that I have to pay attention to. Now I'm really only looking at that cadence number and I can focus on the podcast that I'm listening to or whatever else. So big thumbs up to that feature. It works very well and I think it's incredibly accurate. The second biggest pro of the Bike Plus over the regular bike is the new screen setup. So the screen is larger, it has speakers that face you, and it also swivels. I also think it's a little more responsive, but I couldn't actually find that listed anywhere. And the resolution is the same. In my older reviews, I criticized the regular bike because the speakers, one, were rear facing, and two, sounded like garbage. It is a slight upgrade. The speakers are much better. They're not like incredible by any means, but it's much better on the Bike Plus than the regular bike. This is my five year anniversary ride. That's right, five years here at Peloton. Additionally, that swivel. I really like the swivel. It's very applicable to someone who's gonna be doing alternate classes, not just the bike classes. So if you're doing like a yoga class or stretching or abs or arms or anything, you can just swivel that screen and go ahead and work out there. I will say you could also use your phone or cast the old bike to a television, which is also very convenient, but now it's built into the bike. Let me also note, and I'll link this in the description below, you can also get a swivel bracket for the regular bike. So if that's a huge plus to you, keep that in mind that you can modify the regular bike and achieve the swivel. Another pro is they now have Apple Watch integration. So for someone like me, who is an Apple Watch fan, I can now tie it into the bike and use my heart rate information from the watch, get it into the bike, and it's very seamless. 
I like that a lot. You don't have to go out and buy another heart rate monitor, but really, if you're spending $2,500 on a bike, what's another 60 bucks for a heart rate monitor? But I do enjoy the integration of the Apple Watch into the Peloton Bike Plus. It's very easy, I'm a big fan. Those are the three biggest pros in my opinion. There's a list of other pros which I'm gonna go through quickly just to let you know about. So the first one up is the new headphone jack. The placement moved from the side of the screen to the handlebars. You now have USB-C instead of USB-A if you wanna charge a USB-C device. The circular knobs, instead of the cheaper feeling plastic handles that were on the older one, I'm a fan of these circular knobs that they have. The cable management on the Bike Plus is excellent. Babies can't grab the cables and stuff. So on the old bike, you had the cable go from the monitor down into the bike and you had a Velcro strap holding it onto the bike. Now that's all inside of the bike frame. So it's very clean for cable management. The new seat adjust lever is much better. Our old seat adjustment lever on the regular bike actually seized up and got stuck and I had to do some things to loosen it up and then I oiled it so that wouldn't happen again. So I'm a big fan of the new lever. And this last one could be a pro or a con. You have a new handlebar set up on the Bike Plus. There's some things I like about it and some things that I don't like about it. The center grips are a little further apart. That's a big pro to me. And then this will segue right into our cons. So the cons of the new handlebar is that the thicknesses are all different depending on where you're gonna put your hands. So up top, if you're standing up and riding, that's the thinnest part. They get thicker as you get further down. So the bar closest to you is very thick and it's a little too big for my wife. Not a deal breaker by any means, but I'm just letting you know that that is a difference. The biggest con by far is the price of the Bike Plus. Currently at the time of filming, it is $24.95. So it's $2,500 for this Bike Plus. And now you can get the regular bike for $14.95, so $1,500. You're paying a $1,000 premium to get the Bike Plus versus the bike. And I have to say the new bike is almost identical to the old bike. The metal frames look identical to me. They just change some things here and there and are charging a thousand dollars more for it. The plastic on the new bike actually feels incredibly cheap, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me. Of course, this is all very subjective, but I'm just letting you know that it kind of feels like they skimped a little bit, especially because the rack that holds your arm weights on the original bike, it's metal. Holds weights, no problem. On the Bike Plus, it's plastic. It feels like over time, sometime in the next few months, if I'm slamming a weight back there, that it's just gonna crack off. I'm not a fan of that. Additionally, the Peloton logo on our new bike is already falling off. The old one looks like it was painted or screen printed on. This one is like some stick on letters and uh, one already fell off for us. But by far the biggest con is the price. The main reason I wanted to upgrade is for the auto follow feature. And because thankfully I have a hobby where I can do this and I wanted to review it and compare it to the original bike. I will say, if you're comparing both of them, I would consider getting the original bike. Unless you're someone who's like, I've gotta have that auto follow feature. I just don't think there's enough there to cause you to pay an extra thousand dollars. I mean, that's just, I just don't think it's worth it. I, re I really don't. So I just wanted to give you my honest opinion comparing the bike and the bike plus we do intend to sell our regular bike. We're not gonna keep two Pelotons, that would be insane. And we're gonna stick with the bike plus, but if you are if you have a bike and you're thinking about upgrading to the bike plus, we just wanted to let you know, those are the pros and cons the way that I see them. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we will see you next time.